Howdy friends, it's Kathy from Rust Paper Scissors and uh, I wanted to do a tutorial today on um, adding, it's called double fold bias tape to um, our journal pages and it helps strengthen them. If the pages are weak, um, you can use it on the edge and it'll strengthen it or you can use it up on a folded up portion and where you tuck things in and it strengthens the page. So um, that's what our tutorial is going to be about today. Uh, the reason I thought of this was uh, I know a lot of beginners and even some seasoned people don't have a huge stash of material or laces and um, if you go to the sewing notion portion of like Hobby Lobby or uh, Joann's, they have quite a few options of things that you can use to add uh, fabric and lace and color to your uh, pages. And so that's what I'm talking about today. And um, what I wanted to do was to show you some examples of how I've used it in uh, a journal that I made and um, get, just give you some ideas. Uh, this is a Halloween journal that I made, and um, I wanted to show you. This is an example of a page that where I turned up to make a pocket, and then in order to strengthen the uh, top of the page, I added some of the double fold bias tape. Now the double fold bias tape is um, this is the wrong thing. That's what I wanted to tell you. Make sure when you go to the store you don't want unless you just want it single layer you don't want the single fold tape you want the double fold um, uh, double fold bias tape and so um, I'll show you an example it is um, a product that is it's a piece of material that's been folded and folded over and so that's what you're going to uh, use to place over the edge of your paper or a tag and it covers a multitude of sins so if your uh, page isn't exactly straight if you use the tape or ribbon it can cover up the fact that perhaps your um, page isn't exactly straight. It comes in a lot of colors. Uh, I have red, orange, black, brown, um, but there's other colors too. But this is an example. This is another example. This is an example of a page that I folded up and it pulls out. And again, I use the double fold bias tape to strengthen the top of the, the page. And then here's an example where I used the orange uh, bias tape and it just coordinates with uh, the tag that I put in had a little orange I really like that one of the things I'm going to talk about is sometimes before you sew your signatures you need to really think about your pages and this page is an example where I added the bias tape after I had sewn the signature so if you look closely along the the seam here where the sewing is you can see part of the manuscript paper and uh, I really don't like that if it had gone if the ribbon had gone all the way across you wouldn't see that here's the other side so again you see a little bit of the uh, manuscript paper but if I had run the thought about it and run the tape all the way across you wouldn't have that problem and I'll explain it when we do um, the tutorial here in a minute. Here's an example of a page where I added the bias tape along the edge so when you pull it out you know it just strengthens that paper and then this is a different example this is ribbon twist paper uh, it comes in uh, a kind of a cord like this and you untwist it and it opens up and um, creates this paper and it's about um, four inches wide and what I did on the part that I folded up on this page I just added this ribbon crimp paper and what I like about it it adds a lot of um, dimension but not a lot of bulk it's uh, not thick or heavy 
uh, it's easy to use. And then again, I coordinated the um, tags that went with this to kind of have a green uh, in them, and uh, I thought it looked really nice. So that's another use. I got this paper several years ago. I helped in vacation Bible school, and we needed uh, the neutral and this dark green of this ribbon twist paper. I did not realize how much I was buying. I have a lifetime supply of this stuff. I have two huge rolls of this paper. Uh, in fact, I'm, uh, I sell it in my Etsy shop just trying to get rid of some of it, but I love it. This is an example of using it on the, the front cover. I used it under the uh, tag that I made for the front cover. I used it here on the front page uh, under the, the tag, and I think it just really adds some dimension. So that's that example, and then I think that's the rest of the examples, but just a way, again, to strengthen pages. Here's a, the ribbon twist paper. Uh, another pull where I use the paper, so you know you strengthen that. Um, so it it was just an idea of a way to um, help. Some of our pages are kind of weak, and I'm going to go through and we'll talk about it. I want to show some examples. Um, first of all, this is just some of the ribbon, uh, the not the ribbon, the uh, bias tape, and I'm doing a Christmas journal, and so that's why I have the red out. I'm using a lot of the red, but I sewed the little white buttons on there, and then all you would have to do is attach this to a page or a tag, and you've got, you know, instant um, embellishment, and it looks nice. It would look nice on both sides. So that's an example of that. Here's an example where I just took the bias tape and I added some um, lace to the edge. And again, this would um, be easy to add to a page and give you a lot of um, color and uh, a little bit of interest. Uh, if you used it on the outside of the page, this would show when the book was closed. And, you know, again, it's a little pop of color. Um, this is an example of something else that is in the uh, Notion section. Um, what... I want you to do is when you go to the notion sections spend some time looking around because there's lots of different items that you could use but this is called piping bias tape and what it is you know sometimes on pillows or cushions they have a uh, a cord a covered cord around them or, or piping it's called piping that's what this is it's again it's uh, the material that they fold it over and then there is a cord inside. Now this cord, what I did was I snipped it down uh, to get rid of the, the white so you wouldn't see it and then I glued it, it shut so you didn't see the white and that's what I did here on this tag. I added it to the side, I glued it down at the top and bottom so you didn't see the cord and then I glued it in the back. I covered the front of the tag with some dictionary paper and added a, a tag, just a little tuck spot. What I thought would, this would work with was um, if you were putting something that was maybe a little bit more fragile into um, a tuck spot, you could grab a hold of this um, piping and uh, it would just be easier to pull out and kind of save your uh, delicate papers. So that was an idea. Again, it's just a little color. It adds something different, a little something different to add to your journals. Uh, something else that is in the Notion section is called Lace Hem Tape. And it's just some lace that um, they sell. It comes in three yards. You get three yards for $1.69. So that's, you know, pretty good bang for your buck. Uh, this is the beige. They have white and black that I saw. They may have other colors, but I didn't see them. Those are the only colors that I saw. But this, again, would be an easy, quick way to add some lace to um, your project. You could add it here on the side. and uh, It's not vintage lace, but at least it's lace. Uh, here's an example. I did a video the other day about... Um, 
slow stitching on uh, tags or embroidery stitching on tags and this on this tag this was an example where I sewed the pearls on there and then I added some of this lace hem, hem tape and um, I added a tag and a little label and just made a quick uh, little tag and I think that worked well so that's an example you could also use this as a bookmark and this is just a piece of the lace and I added a ribbon crimp on the bottom I sell these in my shop I rushed them and I sell them in my shop um, I sell the half inch and the inch inch or this is the inch size and um, what I do is I put a drop of glossy accents inside of the um, ribbon crimp and just to run a bead and then I will put either the uh, fabric or you can use it on paper and I do use them in my journals. Here's an example where I did the ribbon crimp on uh, a piece of paper and then I added a bead or I added uh, this ear bob and uh, just some beads. So you can use the ribbon crimps on paper but like I say I add the glossy accents. Now here's another tip. Um, I got these little, I guess, needle nose bottles, uh, I believe on Amazon, uh, but it has a little metal tip and it's very small so you can put out just a little bit of glue. And I really like that with the glossy accent. I don't know how many bottles of glossy accents I've ruined because I've destroyed the nozzle, uh, the plastic nozzle that comes in there, but this works really well and I usually keep a, a very small pin nearby because sometimes it, it will clog up just a little bit. So that's an example and then I'll show you what it looks like inside the journal. Uh, just quickly a little piece of lace and then the charm hangs down and uh, I think it looks really pretty. And like I say, a quick easy way to add um, some lace to your journal. Then, um, now kind of getting to the tutorial part, but let me talk about um, the glues. Um, on the, I can't find my example of, um, <laughs> why does this happen every time you uh, film? You can't find something, you get it all laid out and then you can't find it. But anyway, using the bias tape, it did not matter what glue that I used. I used both the Fabri-Tac and I used the Art Glitter Glue, and it was thick enough that it worked. It didn't show any residue through the tape. So either glue would work on that. The problem was with the um, this silk blanket binding, the double fold. I used the Fabri-Tac and um, what I did was I, you know, ran a bead of Fabri-Tac and then, here's another tip, I took this, um, I believe it's a makeup silicone brush that you use to put like maybe a mask on your face. Uh, it was moon shaped and so I just cut it off flat and uh, I used this as a brush and nothing sticks to this. You can leave glue on it, paint, gel medium, anything. Nothing sticks to it. All you have to do is just rub it off. Here's an example. So I'll show you. I'm rubbing it off. It just comes right off. Nothing sticks to this surface. So I love it because sometimes I'm lazy and I will um, use something and then I won't go wash it off right away. So uh, I spread out the Fabri-Tac because sometimes it's kind of lumpy and thick and it dries quickly so you have to work quickly. So I use the Fabri-Tac on this side and it works great. You do not see it at all. Now on the other side I did the same thing with the Art, Art Glitter Glue and this shows you can't see it really on the film but it it bleeds through the fabric and you see the glue. So I didn't like, for this product, I didn't like the Art Glitter Glue. I liked the uh, Fabri-Tac. Now let me tell you, this is, Fabri-Tac is in this bottle. I got this bottle at Walmart in the cake or 
the baking section. I believe it's used for icing, but it works great with Fabri-Tac because it's an easy to squeeze bottle. It just it, it sometimes that Fabri-Tac bottle is so hard to squeeze that uh, I really like this. So that's another tip you need to get one of those. Uh, it works well. Okay, now the. Um, First thing I wanted to talk about was uh, sometimes in adding um, pages to your junk journal, you want to use individual pages. And um, some people, this is an old dictionary page, some people will put the page in like that and fold it that way. But I'm, I'm funny, I like my text to be where you can read it. So I like to do it this way. So what I do is I get, normally I get Millipore tape, and that's this, I believe they sell it in the uh, first aid section at uh, Walmart or any store, CVS, any store, and it works well. You can't really see it. It, you know, blends in, and it strengthens your page and allows you to uh, put it into the signature. You sew, you sew through this. Well, I thought, what I, what I normally do is I take the tape and I um, put it down on my work surface. And I try to get it straight, and I'll have a hard time getting it straight, but there we go. And then what I do is I line my pages up and I get it straight and then I pull the tape over it and you get a nice straight line of the tape and you cover up the, the seam very well. Then I thought, well, why not add the double fold bias tape on the other side? It will strengthen it and it will give you a little pop of color. And uh, that's what I did. You just glue each side and I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, then when you put it into your journal, it is, um, you sew through it, it's not real thick. And, you know, you just sew through that and it strengthens it and strengthens the paper and it looks pretty. So that's, that's an example of that. Then uh, the next example was sometimes you want to add a pocket or an envelope or something to a page. And this is where I wanted to talk about sometimes you need to, to spend a little time before you sew your signature together to look at your pages and think about what you're going to do with your pages because in this instance you could add this before you sewed it into the journal and uh, it's very easy but what I do is I would line up this glassine envelope with where I wanted it on the page right I want it right next to the the seam and then I'm gonna just clip it down so my hands are free to add um, this to the side. And what I do, I'm going to take this double fold bias tape. Here's a better example. And, um, oh, these are um, the ones that I, I messed up on, but I'm going to go on and use it because um, I messed up. But it opens up. Now, what you do is you take your Fabri Tac or glue, and I'm just going to run a bead along this um, envelope. And we're just going to glue the one side right now. Then I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to just to push it up against the fold. And you do have a little wiggle room with it, but uh, you press it in, fold it down, and you are good to go. So that attaches that. And then um, you have your um, glassine envelope, and now you're going to glue it on the other side. You're going to glue this, this side down, and let's see, I'm going to add my bead of, oops, I'm going to add a bead of Fabri-Tac, and I don't glue the, uh, the middle, I just glue the sides, and then I'm going to push it in there and fold that over and you get it where you want it. Let's see, I'm going to move it up just a little bit. And you have you have a minute to work with it. There you go. I'm not going to use this. This is just an example. But you fold it over and now you have your page added and you have this page. 
and you'll you know you would sew through there. So that works for that. Okay, then sometimes people do what they call tip ins, and what I did was um, it's to fold up um, something for on your page. So I added the um, I added a tag to one side of the fabric tag, uh, uh, one side of the bias fold tape, and I'm just going to uh, put some glue on the back of this tape and then I'm going to line it up on the page and get it straight and even then you press it down and now you have your tip in and you could write on this back of your tag you could write under where the tag is and it would be like a little um, hidden message and then there you have it very easy easy peasy way to add uh, a tip in with some color to your page. Okay, now, oh, here's my example. Okay, this was the double fold bias tape. This I use on one side. I use Faber Tac, and on the other side, I used the art glitter glue. And you can't, you can't see both sides look fine, so it works well on both. So sorry to digress. Now this is some ledger paper that I tea dyed, and it happens to have a pretty good. Uh, red and green uh, page and I thought oh that's perfect for Christmas and so I thought if you used it on the outside page rather than the pull out page like I did in some of the other examples that I showed you this would when the book is closed you would see a little pop of red on the you know on the where the book pages are. So that's what we want to do. So what I'm going to show you how what to do is just I just kind of line it up and I get a bead of the fabric tack on there and um, it's it's easy again. I don't know if I said but it covers up a multitudes of sins. If your paper is not exactly straight this can kind of hide it. So I just push it up next to it, flatten it out, you know, glue it down, and then we'll do the other side. And uh, easy peasy. And then we just glue it, and you might put a little bit more on there. And then you fold it over, and you're done. And then I would uh, trim the edges. You might put a little extra on the edges once you trimmed them because you want it to stay closed. And there you have a, a page that has some protection but also has some beautiful color that goes with your um, theme. So uh, that's, that's that. Now here's an example of the uh, ribbon twist paper. I folded up this manuscript paper and um, it didn't quite come all the way and I didn't quite fold it up four inches. So the ribbon twist paper is a little bit longer. And then, like I say, it just strengthens your pocket. And then this is that example where when this is sewn together and you open it up, you're not going to see um, the manuscript paper. All you're going to see is the ribbon twist. So again, that's thinking about your pages before you sew them into your journal. But you can add them later, but it, it just depends on what works for you. So that's an example of that. And then here is an example of um, the quilt, the satin blanket binding. And I have, um, oh shoot, um, I put the fabric tack on there and I brushed it out with my uh, silicone brush and then I did the other side and then I'll show you on this side I glued the edges because this ribbon frays now there's stuff called fray check and different sewing items but you don't always have to to buy that you can use other things and I'll show you but here on this other side I'm just going to show you you take your fabric tack and you glue it in. and I don't glue right on the uh, seam because you know your needles gonna go through that and you don't 
really have to do that. Again, it doesn't add a lot of bulk, but this little silicone brush is great. And then I'm just going to fold it down, and it is added very quickly. I'm going to do a little bit on the back here, just to add some, and then I'll cut it and show you what I mean about the edges. Oh, I forgot to silicone brush it, but that's on the inside. It won't show. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this edge. And let's see if I can... Okay, there we go. Uh, trim the edge. Now, what I do is I take my silicone brush and I take some art glitter glue. I use the art glitter glue because I know it's going to dry clear and I'm just going to add it to the end of my silicone brush and I'm, and I'm not sure if you can see that but I just added some uh, glue. Now this is the edge of the ribbon so I'm just going to dab this along the edge and uh, it dries clear and it will stop it from braying. And I, I did this side. That's what glue. That's what caught there. And um, you can't tell, and it won't fray. So that will dry clear, and you will be good to go. So that is that. And then I wanted to mention there are other types of ribbons and trims that you can get. And uh, one of my favorites is something called Twill Tape. And I like it. It's pretty sturdy. Again, the example is you can add it to the edge of something, cover up some sins if you didn't cut straight. But this Twill Tape comes, I'm not sure if it comes in different colors, but it comes in different sizes. This is about a half an inch. And um, I know it comes in bigger sizes. What I like about it is you can stamp on it and then you could add a beautiful sentiment along your um, the edge of your paper. You could add, you know, personalize something. So um, I believe that is all that I had to show you today. I hope this will inspire you to go to the Notion section of your um, hobby store and look around and see there's a lot of things. Uh, there's snaps that you can use in your uh, journals and there's there's just all sorts of uh, notions that work. Uh, I want to thank you for your time. I know this was probably a long video and I apologize, uh, but I would appreciate it if you would leave me a comment uh, or if you like what you see, if you would subscribe to my channel, that would be wonderful. I'm going to try and do more uh, tutorials, but uh, I really liked this adding the color to the page and then strengthening the pages that sometimes are a little bit weaker. I'm not sure. There was one other thing that you could do, and I, I don't know if I showed it already in the book, but if you added this ribbon to... Well, I'm not going to be able to do it right now. If you added the ribbon to the side of the page, and then at the top and bottom, just tag it in. You're making a tuck spot. And so you could make a tuck spot with this um, ribbon. So there there you go. So that, that's another way. And then you have a beautiful, you know, pop of color. And uh, a tuck spot that's easy, quick to do. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, hope everybody is safe and healthy, and happy crafting.